So welcome to our next tutorial on C++ programming. In the last session, we discussed some of the points in C++ that it, uh, its basis is of uh, object-oriented programming. It is a high-level language. So before proceeding on our programming section, we have to keep in mind a few things like what are the preprocessors, header files, namespace standard, main functions. These are the things, these are the definition that you will have to learn before going into the programming part. So let's start. So what are preprocessors? Usually it begins with hash symbol and preprocessors are the directives which give instruction to the compiler to preprocess the information before actual compilation starts. What that means? It means that preprocessors are, th are those directives that give instruction to compiler. Compiler usually decode into the machine lang level language so that the machine will understand what we uh, wrote in our high level language. So it converts our high level language into low level language. That is the work of compiler. So our uh, main objective here is to compile the code in a very efficient way. And preprocessor are those directives which give instruction like we need to include some files so that we can use these files in our functions, in our programs, uh, some variables, some header files. So these are the functions and the uh, header files that are included in our program by these preprocessors. So this preprocessor works as a starting point of your program. Next up is header files. What are header files? It contains definitions of functions and variables. These functions are imported into our program using preprocessed include statements. There are two types of header files that is system defined that comes with a compiler and second one is user defined that is defined by programmer. Here header file means that suppose uh, my name is Arjun and uh, if uh, I want to give description of myself, who I am, then I am 24 years old, I'm working in this company, my hairs are that much long, I play football, so this is the description of Arjun. So if I want to use that word, that Arjun, in my program, that somewhere I need to define what is Arjun, what is its attributes, what are its attires. So these header files contain the definition of the variable so that if I use a pro, uh, function like cout that is used for printf, cin that is used, used to take the input from the user. So these, these functions, these variables, these symbols are predefined in header files. So we need to include these header files into our program so that we can use these files in a very efficient way. We don't need to rewrite again and again what cout means. So these are header files which contain the definitions. Next up is namespace standard. It defines a scope basically. Suppose there are two students with the same name in the same class. So we need to find a way to differentiate them. Uh, sometimes it's like that. My name is Arjun. There is another guy whose name is Arjun and uh, we need to differentiate between these two. Like, I need to define myself like I'm 24 years old, maybe he's 23 years old. So, in actual practice, in our program, there may be some same issues. Like, you have, uh, you are having two functions with the same name, like ABC, ABC, within different libraries. So, namespace standard differentiate this issue. Using namespace standard, to this directory tell the compiler that the code is making use of names in the specified namespace. For example, sometimes I want to use, as I told you, cout that is used for printf to print the output on the screen. So sometimes I can use this cout statement from the namespace uh, standard like in this way, using standard cout. I'm using only a part of that namespace. So these are the basic things that you need to keep in your mind because these are the things you will have to learn in the near future because it is so important. You will see this namespace standard, cout, 
in every program which uh, which you will do so let's proceed on our first program <laughs> 